guys, this is April at Georgia Girl Plans. I have another Erin Condren Rewind Plan with me for you today. I am going to be using this kit from Piper Paper Company. It is called Snow Day. It's got lots of cozy winter vibes and it was chilly here this week so I thought this would be a perfect kit. So these are the full boxes. I did get the um, full kit. I've got the checklist, flags, the functional items, some scripts, an extra full box, and the weekend banner. Glitter headers, date covers, icons, and date dots. All of the boxes, little things and headers, and then the washi and washi strips. Oh, and the ombre heart checklist, which I won't be using these. And I'm going to be planning the week of January 14th through the 20th and I am still trying to perfect how I'm going to film these videos. So I am gonna go ahead and do the foundation with you and I'll come back and do day-to-day -day planning or an overview of the week. We'll kind of see how it works. Last week I um, didn't work out exactly how I planned, but we'll see how this one goes. I am gonna pull in some washi. I've got this buffalo plaid with gold bows from Simply Gilded. So I'm gonna put that in at the bottom and I'm only going to be pulling in a little bit of foil this week. When I look at this kit, I first think silver because of the winter vibes. But I don't know if it'll pick it up. But it has these like gold flecks in this box and in the washi. And so that's why I chose to do gold. But like I said, I'm only going to pull in a very little bit of gold. I don't think I'm going to pull in any foiled icons. I am going to pull in some foiled date dots. Um, for the date cover, so I'm not going to use the date dots with the kit and then the washi. And that might be it. It's just going to be a very simple week, but I think it's going to be pretty. So, I am going to get started with the washi. And um, Piper Paper Company's washi strips, she does this like glitter strip that comes with it. Um, I don't think I'm going to use that this week because it kind of looks more silver to me. So, I'm going to put down this washi here at the top and then trim this down to fit at the bottom. I may use this in the sidebar, I'm not 100% sure. I do have some 5mm bows that I could use, so I'm still going to decide on that. I'm going to get started on the washi. I am probably going to have to white out some. I've got my Tombow Mono Correction Tape, so let me get started on that and I'll be right back. I really love how this looks. I put the um, Simply Gilded Buffalo Plaid at the top and then the washi that came with the kit. And I um, trimmed it down just a little bit. These are the strips I have left from it. And I love how you still get most of the um, snowflakes there. So I'm going to get to the date covers and my date dots and my tweezers. All right, so I've got my date covers down and my date dots. I did realize on that sheet I had pulled from Rose Colored Days, I didn't have a 14, so I ended up using these transparent date covers from The Giving Girl. So let's move to the sidebar. So I am, let's look, full boxes. I think I'm going to use the Baby It's Cold Outside for the quote box. I'm going to go ahead and put a glitter header right here at the top and then baby it's cold outside and then with my full boxes this week I'm gonna do something a little bit different than I normally do I'm gonna put them in a straight line across the middle I'm trying something different I haven't done that yet in my Erin Condren so should be fun all right I think I am gonna use these glitter strips Here and throughout my sidebar and I am using my slice tool that I got on Amazon I did use this on my bottom washi as well okay. now I normally do a this week header there's not a this week header in the kit so I did pull these um, script stickers from Piper Paper Company that says this week and let's see, I think I'm going to put it on one of these pretty scallop boxes right here. I am on the PR team for Piper Paper Company. I've got all of my um, coupon codes in the description, so you 
You can check there to save on anything that I am using. Now let me grab the habit trackers. And these habit trackers are for my vitamins and my no spend. Do I wanna put, I think I'm gonna put a piece of glitter right between these. And these are rewind spreads, it's a week behind. So I'm kind of going back and um, memory keeping, but I do have a habit tracker um, that I keep up with these two things. So these are truly what I did this week um, in regards to taking my vitamins and my no spend. Perfect, okay. Then I'm going to do my dinners and let's do another glitter strip. Then I'll grab the dinner's header. Alrighty. So, do, do, do. Swear she, oh yeah, right there. I was about to say, I swear her kids have one. All right, so that is for dinners. Apparently this glitter strip was very crooked. Okay, and weekly tracker. Here it is. You can see those lines through, but I don't really mind because I'm going to be writing um, and they line up perfectly. So down here at the bottom, I'm going to use maybe some of these cut washi strips to stack. Let's see what full boxes are there. There are full boxes that match both of those. I 100% want to use this full box, so I only need seven. So say I do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Do I want this to match? Maybe I'll do that. And it actually will line up pretty perfectly. So I'll do another strip of Simply Gilded and then just trim this down so it matches the bottom washi. This um, bottom washi technique, um, I believe the first person I saw do it was Andrea from Scribble Prints Co. Not sure if she um, got it from anyone else, but that is who I learned it from. All right. So I'll have this strip. Um, these are really pretty on um, this pattern, so I may save this for like my daily inserts. Let's do another strip of washi right here. White out this line. I think this buffalo plaid washi is so pretty for the winter. There we go. Alrighty. Perfect. Okay. Now, glitter headers. I think I'm going to color block my glitter headers this week too. So I'm just going to mix it all up. If you've seen my other videos, I usually alternate the colors of my glitter headers and I scatter my full boxes. So just doing everything a little bit different this week. I think it's fun to try some new stuff. So I'm going to do the whole top line, this black color, and do the middle pink and the bottom gray and I'll save this color um, it's pretty neutral I feel like I can use it in other spread yeah. I'm gonna do the scene on Saturday and Sunday so let's see I think I want to do this on Monday I love this box it says let's stay home I have become Quite the homebody, I won't say in my old age, but definitely don't go out as much. I just realized I didn't put the flag on this side. I need to go put that up there. I did put it on the other side because I like it under the date cover. 
There we go. That is not sticking for some reason. All right, flag. She's got these pale pink flags with the kit. Oh, goodness. White out some of that green. There we go. Perfect. All right. And then I'm going to do, sh I'm reading. I love this kit. It's kind of, oh my goodness. I think I might just have to take that off. Not to. Dinner's header looks awfully crooked. It's better. Now, the question is, do I want to put another glitter strip there, or do I just want to leave it how it is? Hmm, we'll come back to that. I'm going to leave it how it is for now. Okay, now I want to do this girl reading. She looks so cozy. All right, and then let's do the glitter headers on this side. So now let's move on to the rest of the full boxes. Um, I know I want to do this scene. Do I want it on Thursday, Friday? No, I want it on Saturday, Sunday. I don't know why, but I just love the scenes on the weekend. So let's see how this looks. I think it looks really pretty so far. So I got a little bit of foil on there. I love how it is looking. Now for the day today, I have pulled some extra icons from Piper Paper Company, a few other shops, and some scripts. So on Monday the 14th, that morning it was a catch-up day so I am going to pull the laptop icon here in the kit and then I pulled the work scripts from Piper Paper Company I love her scripts so I'm just gonna put work here had a nice productive morning there we go and then that afternoon I took the pups on a walk so I'm gonna use well I don't love that the icons the same color that'll be okay and put that there walk in the pups and I'll just write that in and then I did some filming got these camera icons or deco from Piper paper company and then I've got a film script, also from Piper Paper Company. I love how dainty her scripts are, but you do have to be careful when you're pulling them up. There we go. So I did some filming, and then um, I talked to my dad for a little while on the phone, working on planning our summer beach trip. So I'm going to put that right there. Or chat with my dad. I actually might put that on. Sorry if I just bumped that. A quarter box? Yeah. I think I'll do that. It's a neutral color. Put that right there. Okay, and let's see, I worked on editing my plan with me, I think I'm going to use one of these pink um, little film tapes there, also from Piper Paper Company, and the edit script, there we go. Perfect. Then I 
washed our sheets. And there's a laundry icon, yes. And then down here at the bottom, I'm going to put a full box. Where did I just put oh, right here? Let's see. Let's do the black one or oh, let's do a square. Move this icon up just a smidge. And then I pulled these TV icons from Piper Paper Company. And let's do a black one. My husband and I relaxed and watched some How I Met Your Mother. We're rewatching that series. So I'll put that there. Moving on to Tuesday, I um, uploaded my plan with me, my B6 plan with me. Let's see. I've got my upload script here. What do I want to use with it? Hmm. I already used the laptop icon. Maybe I'll do the asterisk. Let's do that right there for uploading. My upload script. There we go. Then I had another productive work morning. I pulled these laptop icons, also from Piper Paper Company. Put that right there. For work, I had an appointment that afternoon. I use this alarm clock here for that. And, let's see. I picked up some fast food on the way home, which is always delicious. I think I might use a, yeah, let's do a little thing. Neutral, now let's do, the, do that right there. Picking up Chipotle, one of my favorites. I feel like it's one of the healthier fast food options. Then I'm gonna grab another quarter box. My husband and I had a basketball game that night. It was a big game for the University of Georgia and we lost, so that was not so fun. And then after that, we went bowling. Oh, I'm just gonna use that heart icon, which is gray. Let me change this box. I don't have gray right next to each other. Let's do the black one. So the box is for the basketball game. And then I'm going to do the heart icon from the kit for bowling. We love bowling, so that was fun. And then when we got home, I watched a little bit more How I Met Your Mother. I'm going to grab this pink TV for that. Oops. There we go. And then I'm going to put... Use I pulled these book icons from Bodacious Prints, and I think I might use the black book or gray. Let's do the black one. And then I pulled these read scripts from Pretty on Paper Co. These are her old um, scripts. She does have new ones in the shop now. Alrighty. Now, moving on to Wednesday. That morning, I intended to get up and be productive. I did not, so I'm gonna pull, I'm gonna use this um, sleep late, maybe over this pink flag here. Um, I have just not been motivated in the mornings at all. Not, <laughs> really keeping up with um, my New Year's goals, but that's okay. And then I did some more work, so I was going to use another one of these. That's like the exact same. Hmm. That's okay. I think I'll still use it and then put a work script by it so it won't be the exact same as the day before. My 
my previous planner, I used to put work, um, this icon over at the top of every day um, to kind of keep up with my schedule. So I have a ton of these work scripts. because <laughs> I'm not really doing that any longer. Then I took a nap, even though I slept late, I think I just wasn't feeling great. So I ended up taking a nap. I don't wanna do this. I think I'm gonna do it like this. And then right nap beside it, yeah, I like that. Okay, and let's see, I did a YouTube binge. I pulled these YouTube binge stickers from Piper Paper Company. I do have a sheet that I've already been using. Let me grab those. This is my backup sheet because I like them so much. All right, and I get it. Um, she has bright colorway and neutral and um, both the sheets that I have are in the neutral colorway just because I feel like it goes with so much. I should probably invest in the bright too, especially with spring coming up. Oh, oh there it is. Okay, let's do the pink and I was going to do it over a piece of washi. How about one of these books? right here and YouTube binge perfect okay then oh I got some happy mail that I'm very excited about there is a happy mail um, circle icon here we go I ordered an Alexa for us so that arrived excited about that all right, and then I did some filming, so I'm going to use another one of these film tapes, and let's do the light gray. There we go. All right, and then let's see, I'm going to use this little TV right here. Maybe I'll put, oh, I don't want that gray and gray again. I don't know if I'm ever gonna use this box. I think I'm gonna use this pretty um, pink scallop because I don't think, yeah, full box won't fit. So let me put this one down. Use this pink scallop box right here. We watched more How I Met Your Mother. And I'm gonna use that TV from the kit. Oh, I think that might be too close. Coil. Let me move it over just a tad. There we go. All right. So that is everything for the first. Oh my goodness. I bet you couldn't even see the end of that. I am sorry. So that is everything for the first half of the week. Uh, I'm going to go through and fill it out. I am using my 0.5 Paper Make Ink Joy Gel. I'm going to go through and fill all of that out and I'll be back with the second half of the hey week. guys, so I have the second half of the week to plan with you today. So I'm starting with Thursday, and I um, went to Publix that morning. So I'm gonna use um, one of these character stickers from Bodacious Prints. This is the Bianca girl. Um, all of her girls have different hair colors and skin tones. So this is Bianca grocery shopping. So I'm gonna use that for the first thing that morning. There we go, I kind of put her over the glitter header because she's kind of tall. And then I had an appointment that afternoon with a customer, so I'm gonna grab one of these quarter boxes for that to mark my appointment. There we go, and I picked up um, some lunch on the way home from my appointment. I've got all of these leftover fork and spoon icons. Most of these are from Pretty on Paper Co. I love them. So I'm going to use one of these. I think I'm going to use this like light purple color right here. I think that'll be pretty. I picked up some Chick-fil-A, which is always notable. So good. My husband and I, um, starting keto so I was trying to get all of my favorites in before that 
And then, let's see, I got some Happy Mail from Nightingale Paper Co., which is one of my favorite shops. So I'm going to use this little envelope icon from the kit to mark my Happy Mail. And then that night, my husband and I went on a date night to one of our favorite um, Japanese restaurants. Like I said, we are trying to get in a lot of our favorite foods before we go back on keto. I think I'm going to use, let's see, I want to use one of these girls from Fox and, um, Fox and Pip. It's called the Foot Pop. And um, these colorways are actually pretty perfect for my husband and I, other than my hair being a little bit darker. But I just think they're so cute. So I want to use one of them in a full box. Um, or excuse me, in a half box. Maybe a squared off one for our date night. And I'm going to move this down just a little bit because there's also a date night script here in the kit that I want to use with one of these so let's see yeah I'm put this here at the side and then I'm gonna put the date night script right here at the top yes I love that and then I'll just write in right there where we went that was a lot of fun and then when we got home we watched some TV and then I went to bed early. I was tired. We'd had wine. It was definitely time for bed. So let me see. I don't know if I'm going to have room to mark the TV. I may just put this flag here. I think I'll do that. I'm going to put that flag. All right. So I pulled these scripts from Bodacious Prints and Gold. I haven't been pulling in a ton of foil, but... I just love this script. It says early to bed. So I'm going to put that right there over that flag. Perfect. And then on a Friday, I um, had a pretty productive morning working. So I'm going to use another one of these flags right here at the top. And a work script from Piper Paper Company over that flag perfect alrighty then I did some cleaning up around the house I'm gonna use this little vacuum icon from the kit I love using like my lunch breaks to do some housework kind of I'm like in a motivated <laughs> mood from working so it's very nice then I did some reading. Let's see. Maybe this light purple color. I love these. It's from Once More With Love. And these little books say Get Lit. They're just so cute. I think I'm going to use this light color purple. Um, maybe the gray. Because I think I've already used the other purple. I think I'll use the gray. Save the purple. Yeah, that pink is a little too peachy. Let's use the gray for reading. There we go. And then I worked um, at my husband's restaurant. So I'm going to use a quarter box for that. Put it right here. There we go. Then I came home after work and cooked some dinner. So I'm going to use one of these um, little munchkins from Once More With Love for that. Move it down just a tad. Perfect. Okay. And then we watched two of our favorite um, shows. Let's see. I think I can fit half box. I may have to pull this munching up just a tad so I can fit that. We watched um, two shows so I want to use a half box for that so let me put that down and then put that munchkin right there. Okay perfect and then I was going to use the TV icon. Um, these are also from Piper Paper Company. I use this gray color. We watched um, 
newest episode of Top Chef and some How I Met Your Mother. And I also pulled these Reed scripts. These are from Nightingale Paper Co. These are her custom scripts. I'm just gonna put that right here by this munchkin. There we go, perfect. All right, so that's everything for Friday. Now moving on to Saturday. That morning I did some planning. I did some memory planning while I had my coffee. So I wanted to use one of these Fox and Pip Girls. These are the Comfy Planner. I thought the color she's wearing matches really perfectly with this kit, but she's kind of tall. So I think I'm gonna work from the bottom up and see if I have room for her. It's because I do have the weekend banner, so I don't have a ton of room. So I'm gonna save her and may use something different. So let's work from the bottom. So that night we went bowling with my brother-in-law, which is always fun. I was gonna use this, this little heart icon. I might not put anything with it, just do that. And just write bowling with Kyo. And before that, we um, did our meal planning for um, our keto. So I've got in my leftovers these little bake icons from GP Sticker Studio. They're so cute. So I'm gonna use these. I'm just gonna cut off the word bake just because I love the icon. So I'm gonna do that there for meal planning. For, I love when we are on keto. I mean, don't get me wrong, I miss carbs, but I just feel really good. But it definitely is something you have to plan so that you're successful at. All right. And then before that, we had taken our pups on a walk. So I'm gonna use these paw prints from Nightingale Paper Co. Put those right there for walking the pups. These are so cute. And before that, we had went to lunch. We actually went to a new restaurant. It's a pizza joint and pizza is one of my favorite foods. So once again, trying to um, get some of my favorite things in before keto. Pizza is definitely something that I miss on keto. So I'm gonna use this fork and spoon. And we went, it was called Fully Loaded Pizza. Put that right there. And just fill in where we went. And before that, we had had a basketball game at the University of Georgia. I'm gonna use a quarter box. I'm thinking I am going to have enough room for that planner girl. Perfect. So let's see. I want to put her. I might just cut off her feet. Let's see. Yeah. Feel bad cutting off her feet, but it's okay. Yeah, that's perfect. I love how that looks. All right. So then I'll just write memory plan there. Let me take off that clip. So on Sunday, I worked that morning at my husband's restaurant. So I'm gonna put down this quarter box for that. Actually, before that, I wanted to mark that was the first day of keto. So I'm gonna use this little coffee icon. Um, I had actually trained my. So I used to hate coffee. And then I started drinking it with lots of cream and sugar. And then we were on keto last time, which was um, over the summer, 2018, trained myself not to need sugar in my coffee. So I haven't gone back to that. So I can still have coffee just how I like it with lots of cream. Um, I use half and half, so it doesn't have carbs in it. Um, so I'm gonna use that coffee icon to mark day one of keto and the quarter box to mark that I worked. Then that afternoon after work, I took my pups on a walk. So I've got these um, dog lover icons from Once More With Love. I think I'll use this little hard-eyed munchkin with her dog. Need one with three dogs, <laughs> but that'll do. And then I took a nap and I pulled these Baymax icons. This is from Pretty on Paper Co. I love her Baymax character. So I'm gonna use him right there for a nap. Let's move on down. Then I did some filming and I pulled these film clappers from Piper Paper Company. Let's use this 
gray color there for filming. And then I also pulled the film script also from Piper Paper Company. Oh, goodness gracious. All right, well, I'm gonna have to piece this one back together. I love, I know I say this all the time, but I love the scripts from Piper Paper Company. They're so dainty and I love how they're kiss cut. They don't take up a lot of room, but you have to be so careful pulling them up because they're so small. But I'm gonna piece it back together and it's going to be fine. All right, so let's put the first half there. Then fit on this M. All right, there we go. That works. Okay. Then I had to go to the grocery store to get all of our food for our keto week. So I'm going to use this car icon from the kit. And then I've got this Publix Run script from Nightingale Paper Co. It is one of the custom scripts that I have from her shop. Oh, let me pick up that. Move it over just a tad. Yeah, perfect. Okay. And then that night I um, did some cleaning. I was going to use one of these. Uh, hmm, let's see running out of room here I want to see if I can use both of these so I've got this um, cleaning Winston from Nightingale Paper Co and then I wanted to use flag with this TV on it let's see might not be able to do that hmm All right, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this Winston here for cleaning, and then I'm gonna put one of, so they have, you, there's three different sizes TVs. I'm gonna put one of these big TVs right down here. I did this last week too, one day that I didn't have enough room, I put it in the washi, and then I'm just gonna write in the TV what we watched and just not use that flag. And I think that will work. All right, so I've got the full spread all filled out. I love how this looks, all the nice soft colors, and I used a ton of character icons, which are some of my favorite. So let me show you what's left of this kit. This was a full kit. So I've got the check flags, a few page flags, bildus, and boxes, and some um, scripts. Uh, one the color of glitter headers, which I'll save some icons and date covers, a few more boxes, and a um, weekly tracker box, one full box and a little piece, headers and little things, and then um, these washi strips, and then some of these long strips. So I'll definitely um, save this full box and these and use these in my dailies, um, maybe even with these glitter headers. So definitely got some good use out of that kit and this is my full week so if you'd like to see close-ups of this you can follow me on instagram i'm at georgia girl plans if you like this video please give it a thumbs up comment below and let me know if you found any new character or icon stickers and subscribe to my channel i do try and upload twice a week and i look forward to seeing you guys next time bye